everyone and welcome back to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. Today we're going to be doing our uh, paycheck to paycheck weekly budget for me. Um, if today is your first time seeing any of my videos, I'm Yoshida. I am the owner of Norris Cove. I'm also a self-employed hairstylist. So here at the Cove, we do budgeting minimal to functional planning. We do cash stuffing envelopes, DIYs, and all that great stuff. So if that's something that you would be interested in, stick around. Also consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. So let's hop right on into everything. I am not going to hold y'all today because it's going to be kind of quick today. Let me get to it. Y'all, so last week was awesome. Let's discuss last week. So, last week, I anticipated, let me make sure you can see, I anticipated making $750. I ended up making $1,308. Um, Norris Cove, I put down $25. It was $43.52. And miscellaneous is $539. I have a little note here, and that came from the Upside app. So it works. <laughs> I do like it. I also looked at some restaurants on there that I'm considering that I can also get money back on. So that will be also in the description box if you want to use my code to get money off gas, restaurants, and all that great stuff. Click the upside link. Also, I have a Fetch Rewards. My Fetch Rewards, I'm just letting them stack, but they're in there and I'm going to cash out on those soon. So that'll be some more miscellaneous. So consider those apps. Look, Use my code down in the description bar. Okay, so we paid Chase because remember, I forgot Chase. I was a day late. And the funny thing was I took Sunday to like update bills and I re realized I put Chase on the 20th. I knew that it was due like with the car note instead of the 11th, I put the 20th. So nonetheless, I gave them 30. I even called them to have them remove the late fee, you know, and they did because I've never been late. Um, Capital One, they got 30. So last week I paid Citibank and Barclays, but because they were like at the end of the week, this happens, they're not coming out until tonight or tomorrow, tomorrow morning. So I have the money sitting in my account to cover these here. So that's on this week. Um, car note. That, I just have it down to like leave money aside for it. I thought it was the 20th, but it's the 22nd, which I have here. I did pay 300 in my booth rent. I'm still paying back booth rent and CMP came out on the 15th. So everything got paid. So, let, oh, duh. Over here, you all saw that I cashed up some envelopes. So what I did was that I already had, so I made a goal of to put 50 into my emergency fund, 25 into my savings account. I did do the 25, I did do, I ended up putting 70 in my emergency fund. And up here, I put the five for debt. And then I listed the other envelopes that I added money to. And what I wanted to do was write it here as well. So that way, it'll give me a general idea of how much I need to have a week and the envelopes that I need to fill. fill. Okay, that makes sense. So, anywho, let's hop right on to this week. And I made a note here of Barclays and Citibank comes out this week. Um, I need to pay Shopify. Carnot is doing the 22nd HP, PayPal, and Booth Rent. Because sometimes I just honestly forget. And I know it's crazy. So, anywho. I'm just going to do my highlighting fields. We definitely know we're hitting the savings, sinking funds, um, and cash envelopes. We just don't know what yet. Y'all, I love this insert, but I am presently, I did this one myself, but I'm presently working with someone, a graphic designer, to design some new ones for 2023. I was actually going to try to do them myself, which I can, but they're time consuming, and I just needed to let a pro handle it. <laughs> so, and when I use this, I always see something that I need to change on it, but um, yeah, it is what it is. So, we're working with the September. The week of September the 19th through the 25th. Um, sources of income, hair. Um, I'm not doing nails right now. We have Norris Cove and miscellaneous. So, um, hair, I'm going to hit that 750 y'all. But let me tell you, it ain't looking too swift. It may be five, but... So far, I don't have a lot of people for the week, but it always changes. So, anywho, Norris Cove really don't have nothing going on this week. Miscellaneous, um, I don't think I'm getting any money from anywhere else, but that always can change. So, our total for the week will be $750 that we're working with. 
So now let's, I got my little handy dandy, dandy note over here. I'm not going to put Barclays and Citibank down because that money is just already there. It's from last week. But we do need to put down that we need to pay Shopify. And I'm just going to put Shopify on like the 22nd. It, it, it was due the 3rd, but I uh, didn't have it. And it's just $30, like 29 but I'm going to hit 30 Um, Car note, 22nd. I forgot to move my car note back just a couple of days because just the way that it was kind of falling this year. And that'll be 181 I'm sorry, this is, let me fix this up. I don't know why this shakes when I write. 181.60, okay. Um, HP comes out this week. I believe it comes out on the 20th. And it's 20. PayPal comes out on the 25th. Well, I pay PayPal on the 25th. And I think they're 39. I think I put 25, but I think they're 39. And then booth rent on the 24th. And I was trying to do 100. My, my amount that I owe, the owner is coming down, but I just like to say 300. I originally paid 250, but before you all know that I was in the hospital and sick and everything. So I also have a booth and rent envelope. So that helps and that will be, you know, helping me. Okay, y'all, my calculator had a little injury, okay? It's a little injury. I, I was trying to close my window and just sit on it and it just broke. But it's still working at the moment. So we're just going to use that and we're going to calculate. So we have a total of $570.60 that will be due. I feel like something's missing. I just don't know what it is. Um, but anywho, so we're going to subtract that from the $750. And that leaves us with $179.40. That is plenty to get my main two envelopes which is emergency fund, which they should get. I'm trying to do at least 50. And if I could do more, that's what I'll do. 50 uh, savings, another 25. I may have to go in. I know I'm going to have to go into my savings this week, but I'll just put it back. So it'll just probably remain the same only because I need to get a tire for my daughter's car. And so I'll just, I said, that's what the savings is for, but I'm not going into my emergency fund. I'll go in the savings and I'll just put it back. So that's 75. And let's subtract that. It should be 104. It is. $104 left. Um, and then I'm just not sure what envelopes that we're going to do. We're going to do the eating out. This is what I'll start with. And that'll be 25 $79. And I think that's the only envelope cash-wise I'm going to do. I like to leave this little small buffer here and it is $79 left. Um, again, if you are new here, I am not a zero-based budgeter. I would love to be, but I'm not. So that's what we have left is $79. I normally try to contribute to this and my emergency funds and savings. You know what, actually, uh, let me get my way. We got to do the planning envelope because we are trying to go to go wild. And I'll just put 25 there as well. So I'll just do a little math. 75, that's a hundred. So between emergency fund savings and planning, um, that's 125. Subtract the 179. 
that is $54. So uh, that's a halfway decent buffer, just in case we need to stick around, you know, just keep things a little something there in case I go over somewhere where I hadn't anticipated going over. Okay, you guys, so that is it for this is this week. This is this week's budget. Again, let's hope we have a great week like we've had these past two weeks. And like last week, I was, I'm just going to chat with y'all while I put this in. Last week, I was like, okay, if I made this, why? It doesn't seem like I made it. So what I did was, I, you know, I've been trying to do better with my spending tracker. And what I realized was, one, I'm paying out, I'm paying out $300 in boots on it. Um, I'm paying bills daily. So I don't see that at one time. Like if I had a check, oh, babe, I could probably do some magic with it. But being the way that I get paid with cash and Zill and just paying, you know, things day as they come, because that's just the way they're set up and that's just the way I get paid. So it adds up, but it doesn't look like it add up. So if that makes sense. So if you're wondering how I pay bills, that's pretty much how I pay my bills. I just pay my bills as they come in out of the money that I get. And then I'll just save something. I'm actually just saving something per day, putting something aside to be able to stuff cash envelopes. And then sometimes what I put aside, I may have to put a little something back to cover a bill that may be unexpected or what have you. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, if today was your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video and you would love to see more videos like this from me, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.